You've probably heard people say, feel the fear and do it anyway. But generally this can be much easier to say than to actually do. Fear can be truly crippling. For some people it's so severe it feels like you're being tied into a corset that's way too tight and you just can't breathe. In today's video I'm going to share with you the one thing that you need to know about fear so then that you can bust out of that corset and no longer be held back by fear so that you can actually start to really live. So welcome, I'm Tamara Mersica from Getting Naked, where we strip back the layers of conditioning stopping you falling in love with you. Love, 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 I love me. We have all sorts of fear in our life. Fear of what others will think of us. Fear of not having enough money. Fear of never meeting the right guy. I know that was a big fear of mine before I met my husband. Fear of being met with some unfortunate circumstance. Fear of failure, fear of success. Fear of the unknown. I could spend all day running off a fear list and I'm pretty sure you could too. You know what fear is, you've experienced it, we all have and it doesn't feel so good. So what do we do when Miss Fear knocks at our door? Because she will. Miss Fear likes to drop in for a cuppa every so often. Sometimes Miss Fear likes to drop by several times a day. That's okay. It's how you respond to these unscheduled visits from Miss Fear that will either hold you back or propel you forward. The one thing that helps me when I feel Miss, ne Miss Fear sneak in the back door. And something that I continue to share with my clients is this. Fear is a sign that we're about to grow. So let me just say that again, because this is the key to unhinging fear. To sending Miss Fear on her way every time she comes by unannounced. Fear is a sign that we're about to grow. Fear shows up to let us know there's an opportunity for growth. And if you're like me, you like growth, you want growth, because growth is what allows us to flourish, to create the things in life that we most desire. Without growth, we really are stagnant. And you may have heard of this saying, you're either growing or you're dying, and I certainly know which I'd prefer. So, Miss Fear rocks up at your door and you say, hi Miss Fear, I'm so glad you dropped by because I know that every time you visit, you're actually just here to let me know that I have an opportunity for growth, to learn something new, to experience something greater than I've experienced before. So thank you, Miss Fear. I'm going to get right on that growth opportunity now. It feels a little different, doesn't it? Getting excited when Miss Fear shows up on the doorstep. What's even more cool about this is that it's your excitement at the fact that you've been given an opportunity to grow that is what dissolves the fear. That is what invites Miss Fear to go on her merry way. Fear cannot exist when we feel joy, when we feel love, when we feel excitement in our body. It just can't exist. Every time Miss Fear pops over, every time she overstays her welcome, we have a choice. We can let her drag us down, hold us back, keep us from all the things that we'd rather be doing. Or we can recognize the real reason for Miss Fear's visit, to let us know that growth is on the way. As soon as you understand the reason for Miss Fear's visit, she'll leave. Her job's done, her message delivered. It's totally up to you whether you let Miss Fear move in for the night, the week, a month or whether you greet her at the door get the message and move on with life even if you've been sitting with Miss Fear for some time now you can still choose to ask her to leave so that you can get on with that growth you can still say goodbye au revoir say another so next time you feel Miss Fear trying to move on in this is my invitation to you to stop take a deep breath in and as you exhale, say to yourself, hey, Miss Fear's shown up for only one reason, 
And that one reason is to let me know that I have an opportunity to grow so that I can be happier, so that I can be healthier, more in the flow. I promise you, if you take this approach, then you'll no longer fear Miss Fear. Miss Fear will become your friend. A friend popping her head in every so often just to let you know, hey, just a heads up that some growth's on the way. Thanks so much for taking the time to share in my life learnings. If you love this content and you're not already on the mailing list, jump on board at gettingnaked.com.au so I can share more of my pearls with you. And please feel free to share this with a friend or five who you feel could benefit from learning more about Miss Fear. And once you do give this exercise a go, please leave your comments below. Share what your fear was and most importantly, share what you discovered the growth opportunity was. So until next time, please enjoy your new relationship with Miss Fear and I'll be back soon with some more self-love and content.